This morning, Bank of Canada did not surprise the market and as per expectation, they capped the overnight rate at 5%, which means they're not raising interest rate anymore. And by the looks of it, it looks like good news to all the investors in real estate uh, uh, bulls, but it's not the good news because when you look under the hood, then you realize uh, the fine print behind it. So I watched the entire uh, press conference and yes, they capped the interest rate at the current level, but they also said the future rate hikes are possible. And here's the reason why. They said quite proud loud, which means what they said is the inflation expectation is going to be higher. So they revised their expectation about the GDP, they revised their expectation about the inflation, and they're saying that they're not able to see in their forecast inflation coming down to 2% until 2025, which means that they are admitting that the inflation has so many complex variables, which is not controlled by the tools that they have in their bags, which is interest rate and quantitative tightening. Those are the two tools they have, okay? And these two tools are not going to control the oil prices, which is going to impact pretty much every single thing in our lives that we purchase. It's not going to uh, affect the food prices, which is going up because of all the geopolitical situations that we have. And of course, the geopolitical crisis that we are seeing across the world, that is not being controlled by the quantitative tightening or interest rate. So they are now admitting that the whole thing is out of their control. OK, so they have to just wait and see how the economy is going to play itself to uh, see, you know, how this is going to control the inflation going forward. So uh, the bad news is the inflation is going to stay longer because if you look at the global bond market, it is exploding. It is exploding. All the long term yields are touching, you know, 20 years high. OK, that means the expectation from the market about the inflation or interest rate is going to stay longer, stay higher for longer. Now, right after this announcement, we saw the Canadian dollar touches seven month low against US dollar, which is why I've been telling, telling you guys that the differential between the Canadian interest rate and the US interest rate is going to uh, put a lot of pressure on Canadian dollar against USD. Uh, as well as we saw the Canadian five-year bond yield spiked again uh, after this news. So all of these things is going to be very inflationary, guys. Hear me out. Uh, rates are going to stay higher because the inflation is not coming down. Inflation is not coming down because of the geopolitical crisis we are seeing. The oil prices is going to shoot up if this war gets further escalated. Um, and then the food prices is continue to go up because all of these challenges is going to disrupt the food supply chain across the world. Okay, so with all these things, we are seeing uh, the Canadian dollar is, is tanking this US dollar. We're seeing the bond yields are rising up, which is predicting the long-term rate levels going forward. So the debt is going to be uh, much expensive going forward. Uh, for the long run, not in the short run, for the long run. So this is going to cause a lot of, um, you know, complexities and uncertainties in the financial markets. And and I was watching um, the Bloomberg TV this morning, and I'm still amazed to see some quote unquote experts are still calling for rate cuts uh, by 2024. And I would ask them, you know, what is the base case for rate cuts right now? Economy is functioning. Yes, it is contracting, but it is still functioning. We have unemployment still under 5% or somewhere close to 5%, right? Yes, it is making people's lives difficult to pay off their mortgages and debt, but they're still hanging on to it. So there is no reason for rate cuts right now. The rate cuts can happen if the unemployment goes up something like crazy 8%. Then it makes sense to do some stimulus package. Then it makes sense, makes sense to cut rates to, let's say, 2 or 3%, uh, not 0% at this stage unless we see a severe depression, okay? So unless and until we see some depression, some recession, some higher employment, unemployment rate, there is no reason for rate cuts at this stage. So I don't know what those quote unquote experts are thinking in terms of rate cuts potentially in 2024. Um, I don't have this forecast in front of me, to be honest. So I think the going forward scenario is going to be very inflationary because of all these uh, fiscal spending the governments are still making. If you look at the current Canadian government fiscal uh, deficit, 
that has gone up by 68 percent compared to pre-pandemic levels so the government is still spending money and that spending money is going to contribute towards inflation this is going to create uh, more new currency units in the economy that is going to chase the limited uh, supply of goods and services which is going to keep prices uh, up so keep this quote from Milton Friedman in your mind inflation is always always a monetary phenomena and it caused by the government fiscal spending that means when they spend more than what they can collect that's going to create inflation for sure anyway these are just my thoughts sharing with you you let me know what you think put your comments down below if you like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video thank you